Welcome to The Barman. After eliminating three contestants last week, we are now down to our final six bartenders as the challenges get tougher. All 12 contestants have been practicing their flair with Tom Dyer. The best six will be shortlisted to take the World Flair Association yellow belt. The final prize being... Learn to be the best bartender you can be. Four-week course at the European Bartender School in Cape Town, two days mixology course in London, and a barista course in Rome. They all seem pretty confident about working alone. And now I can't blame anybody for my errors. Moving on in the competition, if it's individual representation, I'll be very happy. My concept would be able to come out more. The judges would be able to see my perspective and my point of view as regards taste. We being in group, I've taken something from them. I'm gonna blend it on my own to show the judges what I've got. How far do I think I was gonna go in this competition? I packed my bag with 10 different outfits. I haven't seen any of my competitors make anything for me to classify them as strong. What I have in front of me are tree bark infusions. And where we are, people take this very seriously. Agbo, as it is called in the Yoruba language, is a root bitter made from tree barks and used to cure ailments like malaria, typhoid and diabetes. The most popular herbal tincture is known as Ale, a performance inducing aphrodisiac and probably the reason for Nigeria's 180 million and still expanding population. In our quest to bring true African flavor to life in this challenge, we sought out an authentic Agbo herbalist. <laughs> I have three infusions that have been prepared to cure specific ailments. Ali in Yoruba, it loosely translates to English as manpower. The next one is called Afato, and this is actually a cure for gonorrhea. Very interesting ingredient to bring into a cocktail. And the last infusion is called Opayenye, which is a cure for waist pain. Your task is to create a new expression of the Negroni that needs to have an African tint. The Negroni is a popular classic cocktail created in Florence, Italy between 1919 and 1920. It is rich with legend and story, and it is a connoisseur's favorite. The classic recipe features equal parts of Campari, sweet vermouth, and gin. However, before the Negroni came the Americano, a long drink with Campari, sweet vermouth, and club soda. And after the Negroni came the Spagliato. Features equal parts sweet vermouth, Campari, and sparkling wine. You have one hour for this task. You're only meant to come back with one drink. Your time starts now. Wow. If their faces are anything to go by, this is really, really bitter. It looks like the judges are going to have a fair dose of this in the tasting sessions. After I tasted the first herb, the Ali herb, it had a very interesting taste, which sparked concepts in my head. So I didn't bother checking the other two in order not to confuse myself with too much ideas. So I'm going for a taste, fresh, interesting, off to the market we go to select fruits to pair. So far, the Ale Manpower Bitters seems to be the most popular choice. No one can hide in groups any longer. My strategy is simple. I'm going to go in a different way and in a different style and a different technique to deliver. With only 60 minutes to come up with an original drink, let's see what they come up with. The best bartenders in the world are no different from rock stars, movie stars, TV stars. The bar is your stage. 
it is time for you to come and showcase what you're made of. If I were you, as a bartender in Africa, learning to grow and learn from the best, it will change the way you bartend for the rest of your life. Myself, Tom Dyer, world champion flair bartender. Don't delay, sign up today. Make sure you log on to thebarmantv.com right now. Where your quest could begin. My name is Baba Agbara. I came up with this very special mix, you know, put some grapes in, model it to give it a little bit of sweetness. Martini Rosso, 25 ml, orange, curacao for sweetness. Now, I go, uh, same measurement, 25 ml. Ale bitters, same measurement. And then they ask me, Baba, are you sure this thing is going to work? And I tell them, why do you think all your sisters were smiling when I kept on coming to say hello to you in those days? So as you can see, yes, we have the right measurement. The other of my village won't be happy if I don't give it a little bit of you know, respect. So I'm just going to put this here and there. You have it. Alagbara Roni, which means her, her, you know, the power and respect to the original Negroni. Started off modeling grapes. Yes. That's sweet. Then you added vermouth. That's sweet. Vermouth. Then you added orange curacao. That's sweet. And you added honey. Agbo, that's sweet. Agbo malaria. No, hold on. Okay. I'm going with the sweet things. Okay. So that's four ingredients that bring sweet to the drink. And we're still talking about a Negroni. And you served it in a wine glass. I'd like to know why. As for the, the base spirit, it was a, a slight error on my part because the fusion of, the idea was supposed to be the fusion of um, gin. It, it's just following, coming from, you know, all the Negroni variations yes. that, you know, I know, and even just looking at the classics, I, I still can't see where you were going with this. It was supposed to be the gin, the gin vermouth. The, the grapes okay. as well, okay. and then the agbo bitters. I mean, Negroni is usually equal measures, and it's a boozy cocktail, so it's a stirred drink. So it's all about correct temperature and dilution. And there wasn't much stirring. It, it got stirred for like two cycles, and then you emptied a lot of the ice into the glass, which is only going to dilute it further. It's Vermouth to me, all of the other ingredients seem to be lost under the vermouth. It's the first time I've seen the honey sort of on the glass in that manner, but also I enjoyed the presentation and the storytelling. I'm gonna start with my fresh orange. Give it a little muddle. I have the drink's name, which is Obiami, and then I have my Ale, which is my Mampawa. 25 mils of that, 25 mils of my Bombay. Now my cinnamon vermouth, because I drink it for the cane. 25 mils of that. Martini Rosso as a sweetener. 25 as well. So stir with strong cubes of ice. So there you go. Give it a gentle stir. A bowl with a royal symbol on it. Need to get the aroma from this cinnamon. Hmm. So I give it a strain. I don't want a double strain. Just want to keep the chunk of the orange in there. I got my garnish with a lemon wheel, a lemon peel with a cinnamon stick. There you go. In the king's house, there's always some nuts to play with. And just a splash of orange liqueur. That's a splash of what? Orange liqueur. Okay. And the nuts. 
Thank you. So just quickly, what, what was the ratio breakdown again? Of the um, ingredients? I have 25, which is one shot of the gin. Mm -hmm. Sweet vermouth single, 25 as well. Mm -hmm. And then my vermouth infused with cinnamon, 12.5, and then 25 of okay. the alley. You have consistently surpassed my expectations with every single challenge. And tastes fantastic, your execution, presentation. I mean, I don't think it gets better than this. Is there a specific reason why you... Yes, you yeah. know, um, that nut is really um, nice when a lady presents to a guy, because in my local language, they say, um, charge your battery, which means when the guys take it, it charges their battery. <laughs> it's a very minor thing. This is a really, really complicated procedure. Backed by the decoration, I think it came across for me a little bit slow, like the, putting it together. And this drink has a limited lifeline. Mm -hmm. So the smoke element was left out, so suddenly your smoke was disappearing. But that's a minor detail for me because every time you come to this stage here, you, you just impress me more and I didn't think it was possible to do that. Hello, good day. Uh, we're making a twist of the Negroni. That's an African twist. Before I move it, my ingredients is very simple. I've got uh, the gin and an infused martini rosso with teraptura, teraptetra, precase. I've got ali, bitters, the vermouth. I added 25 ml of vermouth, 30 ml of gin, and also I added uh, 25 ml of the ali. So this drink, I call it the uh, Ale Groni. That was the normal Americano. He added gin. This is very simple to make. So this is the Ale Groni, an African version of the classic Negroni. Thank you. I like the fact that you used a big block of ice yeah. in, the, in the glass. I mean, that's attention to detail. Presentation, 100%. Thank you. A little too sweet for me. A little too sweet for me. But that's personal. <laughs> but, but great Thank effort. You. Thank you very much. Great effort. Yeah. The way that the cinnamon is, is smoked, because it actually stays with the presentation you've done. Because sometimes, you know, once you've had the smoke goes away, it uh, dissipates, um, but it stays with the drink. Thank you. I'm going to disagree with my judge. I think it's perfectly balanced. There's the bitterness coming through at the back. Sure. Um, you were quick, but it was backed up with technical ability. You didn't make mistakes, and you, you delivered on point. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. I'm here to make the spicy afrigoni, five pieces of sliced chili. Wow. Ooh. <laughs> that's, that's spicy. Wine syrup. Wine syrup. Yeah. Okay. Five meals of Bombay gin. I'll give it a model at this stage. Who else uses this? Already spicy. Martini Rosso. Ah, wonderful. I bring out my glassware. I want to flame up, put some little fire to put more flavor. Charcoal, this is charcoal. So I want the smokiness. There you go. Stir. This is going to be the legacy cocktail. It's the spicy. Now my bitters, the Alley bitters, 25 mils, more stirring. As you can see, I'm dressed like a palm wine tapper. This <laughs> pocket. <laughs> Wonderful. I like the spice. Wow. A bit more of ice. Let me put ice inside the drink. So this is a coconut shell. 
which has been carved with the seaside stones. Top up of coconut juice. Voila! About to present. Thank you. Tell us about the um, wine syrup. Because Negroni itself has a martini, which is an aperitif, I decided to add wine, make a syrup out of wine with more spices. I had spices like um, uh, white pepper, um, green hot chili, a um, little bit of garlic, mm -hmm. and um, uh, I don't know the English name of ingredient, but it's called pre, pre in Ghana. So that's, those are the ingredients I added to a Savion, uh, Cabernet Savion grape wine variety to make a wine syrup. This is like the most original thinking I've seen throughout the whole program. Thank you. I think the story you told, you added aspects of some comedy, you really thought about the products that are going inside the drink. Presentation is immaculate. It's stunning. You know, this is this is world class. This is world class level stuff here. And you know, like for me, it, it, the Negroni element may not be there so much, but man, what a flavour! I was I was I was wondering what it's going to taste like with the coconut water float. But 150 percent. Thank you. That's the best Negroni I've had today. <laughs> and I would just add that I'm happy that it doesn't hide the LA. Because mm. I think sometimes we try to hide, but the flavors are definitely there. Mm -hmm. Hello, everyone. Today, I'm going to be doing a mistake. Mistake in the Italian language means spaghetto. Spaghetto was invented by a bartender who was making a Negroni and putting all the ingredients. Instead of putting the gin, he got a Prosecco and poured and was like, oh, no, I made a mistake. And the customer was like, Oh, sure, let me try it. After trying, the customer said, wow, this is nice. This is even better than the Negroni. This is the African version, and we have our infused bitters, which is called the Ale. The Ale is a plant back extract which has been used for bitters. So we begin with our ice in the glass. We have 25 ml of Martini Rosso. To invite Ale, we go this way. There goes Ali. A bit citrusness, we put fresh squeezed orange juice, 12.5 ml. We give it a little stir, not too much because this drink is very light. Then we top up with our sparkling wine. Sparkling, too African. <laughs> and then a little bit stir, just two rounds. Hey, mambo. We put in or orange wheel. Wow, fast. <laughs> Present our alley with a bit of lavender. Lavender, so you know. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Ale Spaghetto. Thank you. All right, Theo. I see where you're going with that. I think it's a pleasant mistake. <laughs> the execution, the delivery was spot on. You were quick and methodical and you didn't make mistakes. And this is, at this stage in the game, this is the kind of competition you have to bring. And you did. I'm here to make you a cocktail called the doctor because I'm using freshly infused beaters locally made. So firstly, I'm getting my hibiscus fruit few in there. And yeah, this is a zobo, locally made, made from the hibiscus, 20 ml of that. In there. This is an elderflower syrup, just for the flavor, just 15 ml of that. Then I model, just to get the flavor, because of the drink in Negroni, a local bitters. I'm using the Okwain, locally made, 25 of these inside. Yeah, and that's my gin. I'm using Bombay. 50 ml in it. Mm. 
get my glass chilled. There you go. Let's give this one one nice finish. Have a taste of it. So I'm just gonna strain. So to garnish, just put some hibiscus flour in there, just to go there. There you go. There you go. Thank you. Pretty obvious that you took out vermouth and replaced it with zobo. Your stirring technique still needs some work. I'll keep telling you that until you get it right. The drink is very strong. Short finish, but it's bitter, like it, it hits you. Not bad, not a bad effort. I'm not blown away by the taste of it, but, but I think you, it's simple. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Great, so in our usual fashion, we have a message or some feedback to give you, yeah, as a part of your challenge. We'll start with Selassie's thoughts. Theo, I think the presentation of your drink was, was very good. I enjoyed actually the Prosecco. I think it added a lot to the, the drink. I like the honey. It was a nice touch, but I think we had a small challenge with the gin. My storyline was on point. But then uh, the unexpected happened. One of the ingredients wasn't there, kind of altered the taste. I'm just hoping I'm leaving myself in God's hands. IK, your drink was a little bit off balance and didn't seem like you put enough thought into, into it. When they told me that I didn't put too much thought into the drink, I felt bad because it was something I know I did. It was locally made with the zobo. The, everything was local. I didn't have to use any. It's just the elderflower for the flavors. And, uh, you know, I felt bad. Pat, you are definitely the star of the night. Thank you very much. It was a great output. Johnson, in the words of an artist, he was visionary and incredible. Absolutely stunning presentation. Yeah, just reaction to my drawing was what I was expecting. The presentation is something I've been crafting for a very long time. And Joe, 100% execution, delivery, solid as a rock. So we have decided on the winning drink, the winning cocktail for this challenge. And I think <laughs> I gave it away already. It's Pat. What was the name of your drink again? Uh, Odim. <laughs> my hat. Congratulations, Pat. All right, congrats, Pat. Thank you. Thank you. Well, you're free to go. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, three more people who can leave now. Your quest definitely continues. Johnson, you're free to go. Joe, oh, you're free to go. Your quest continues. Theo, your quest continues. You may leave the bar. Great. So, gentlemen, both your drinks were very confusing. Uh, we've deliberated really hard to come to a decision on which was more off the plot. It was a tough decision, but... Very tough. Very tough. <laughs> it was nerve-wracking. But yeah. Uh, it made us fight. I'll start with you. If I, my thoughts were that there were so many different elements in your drink that completely went off track for a Negroni. IK, as I said before, it didn't seem like you put much thought into the drink. For one of you, your quest ends here. For the other, you have another chance to redeem yourself in the next challenge. You are definitely the bottom two. Braid, your quest continues. You may leave the bar. I'm surprised that they actually saved me. IK, your quest ends here. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. 
Thank you for bringing all your showmanship to bear. Thank you. They all think bartending is just for guys, but I'm telling them out there that ladies can do better. If the first is you like this, the second is like this. <laughs> The third one will come later. <laughs> Next week on The Barman, the remaining five contestants will learn about a complex German herbal liqueur. Jägermaster has always, for many years, been uh, positioned as a short drink. I'm making a dessert out of Jägermaster. The bar is now open. They will also have to present their creations to a live audience who will have a determining vote on who stays or leaves. We're going to be dealing with customers, not just the judges. As the competition intensifies, so does the scheming. I'm trying not to believe it's a conspiracy or it's a setup. The contestants will also get a chance to grade for the World Fair Association Yellow Belt, which no bartender in Africa currently holds. There is no one fitting enough to be my contender. Join us as we find the barman.